what's going on guys it's time over here at that renegade racing channel so today we're going to be changing out the drive belt on a carrier reefer unit now a lot of people get intimidated by these things you know thinking that maybe you have to remove the transmission or i mean not the transmission but the compressor away from the engine and stuff like that in order to get that belt out of there but that's not the case so in order to get this belt back on um, this one's already been knocked off um, it looks like uh, the belt just sprayed up on it. I'm going to show you the entire belt's just missing. All right. And it blew off. But here's what we're going to do in order to make this happen and make it a whole lot easier to take off. Um, I've already started removing some of the bolts, all right, from the actual drive gear or the flywheel or whatever these, whatever different guys want to call it. So you're going to remove the bolts from that, all right, and then we're going to slide that whole gear forward on the compressor shaft. Once we slide that forward on the drive gear, all right, we'll be able to access behind the flywheel. All right, you can shove the belt down behind it. All right, once you get behind it and get it pulled back up, you can reattach the flywheel to the engine. All right, and then we can go ahead and put it on our transmission and our idler pulley right here and adjust tension on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep removing these bolts out right here. And we're gonna get that thing shoved in there and I'll catch you back here in a second. All right, guys, as you can see, I went ahead and removed all six bolts. Um, the job is pretty simple. Those are 13 millimeter bolts. I went ahead and took them out. And then your flywheel comes right off. All right. So once I got it off, I'm going to go ahead and slap um, that belt down through there and pull it up around the drive. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And then once we get that done, we'll go ahead and just reassemble and put the six bolts back in it tighten those up and then we can go ahead and put it on our transmission and our idler pulley and then essentially we're done so it's very easy it's not that hard very simple you can do it on the side of the road if you have to i actually didn't have a belt on me so i ran down to uh, actually an advanced saddle parts and i got two belts i just matched them up um, i looked the belt up on mine uh, got the part number and the actual length of it and i just matched up two different size um, B-band belts um, that were close to that size so I could see which one it was. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. We'll go ahead and get this thing back on. Alright guys, so we went ahead and wrapped that up. Again, all that was needed was a 13 millimeter socket with ratchet. Alright, you use that to take out your flywheel bolts. Also to loosen your bolt on your idler pulley. Alright, that also causes tension. I needed a three quarter wrench to release the lock nut on it. All right, so I, once I adjusted it, all right, you pull it back, tighten it down, then lock everything down once you get your belt on it. But literally this job should only take you 20 minutes and that's if you're taking your time. It's not very that hard. Remember that you don't have to remove your compressor to change your belt. You can just slide that whole drive system forward and slap your belt in there. So that's about it. We're gonna go ahead and fire this thing up, make sure everything's good.